Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, and we're going to discuss the year-to-date ROI, or return on investment. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. I did want to look back at this year. Uh, the year, of course, is almost over. And so looking at the year-to-date ROI as a function of time could be useful. Coming into this year, we looked at prior pre-having years, uh, namely 2015 and 2019. Interestingly, 2023, assuming the status quo remains unchanged, will end the year above where both 2015 and 2019 end the year, despite the fact that 2019 had a more impressive rally in the summer of that pre-having year. And we also looked previously at some of these averages between 2015 and, and 2019. And you can see ultimately, uh, you know, looking at the average compared to 2023, this year has outperformed sort of the average 2015 and 2019. And as we just showed, it outperformed 2019 by the end of the year, assuming the status quo remains unchanged for the next six days or so. Um, and of course, also the same in 2015. So the reason why I'm making this video is not just to say, oh, well, look at us, we outperformed the prior pre-having years, but it's to say, well, well, does this pre-having year look similar to other years that were not pre-having years? And interestingly enough, there are, there, there's, there's, an, there's a class of years that at least so far, the pre-having year has actually corresponded closer to, and again, just for the record, this was not my expectation. I, I said many times throughout the year that I, I thought the yearly high would only be $35,000. I did not think we could go, well, you know, too much. Really, I didn't think we'd go above 35K. Clearly, I was wrong about that, and I, I've said that many times. Um, but it, it got me wondering, you know, does this year look more similar to other years than, than pre-having years? Um, because again, as I said, 2019 and 2015 have actually underperformed this year, at least by this point in the year. And what I found when looking at this and just sort of go through, you know, you, you first could easily look at bear market years, 2014, 2018, and 2022, and see that 2023 looks nothing like those. You also have post having years, 2013, 2017, which drastically outperformed 2023, and then 2021, which came in below 2023. But then you have the other years of the having years. And interestingly, in the having years, 2012 is exactly where this year is. 2016 is pretty close. 2016 is actually closer to the current year-to-date ROI than 2019 was, and also 2020 into the year up at about four point, you know, four x, and this year is currently up or about two point six x. So, interestingly, though, if you average out all having years, right? So, otherwise known as election years, you get this line. So you get this blue line. So this is the average of all prior having years. And what's interesting is that if you average out all prior having years, the year to date return on investment of Bitcoin is where Bitcoin normally is in the having year at this time. If you recall, we sort of, you know, and again, like I, I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong. It's, it's, it's frequent. You'll get used to that if you're not already used to it. But we, we looked at, at prior pre-having years, if you remember, and, and we discussed how oftentimes about half the months are red and half the months are green. Clearly, that has not played out this time. This time arguably looks a lot more like what Bitcoin has historically experienced in having years than what of it what it has experienced in pre-having years and so i just want to sort of take note of that and you know right now the year to roi of bitcoin is about 2.6x if it were to reach 
sort of the historical average of all prior halving years, then it could go as high as 2.94x off the yearly open, more or less 3x off the yearly open. And I believe the yearly open, you know, I mean, it was around 16k. Okay, so I mean, 3x off the yearly open puts puts Bitcoin at, at 48k. Um, but I, I just thought this was an interesting observation, just to see that that this year Bitcoin has been tracking prior having year returns a lot more closely than it has tracked pre having year returns. And so, of course, just something interesting we can look at. I'm going to keep this video uh, relatively short and sweet. I don't need to go on any longer. Um, I imagine a lot of people are, are busy this time of the year anyways, but interesting observation. We'll see what, what next year brings, whether it more or less reso resembles prior pre-having years or if it resembles typical post-having years. Um, we'll have to see if, if, if the cycle is, is sort of shifting in any ways, but I thought this was an interesting insight. Um, hopefully you did too. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and again, check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at IntoTheCryptoverse.com. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.